Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to my Logic Pro X tutorial on how to make a synth organ. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to make the synth organ and a few variations you can use. Let's get started. So here's the track that I made uh, for this um, synth organ. I mostly use Apple loops and then the synth organ, so I'm just gonna play it right now. And the synth organ uh, is a bit louder than I probably would normally have it in the mix, but uh, I just wanted to show you what it sounded like. Here is that part soloed. So let's jump right in on how to make it. So I'm gonna have a new track right here and I'm gonna open up the ES2. And here's my ES2. I'm gonna to go to um, Tutorial Settings right here, and then Analog Saw Initial. And what I'm gonna do is for the first oscillator, I'm going to have it be just a sine wave. It can be either this or here. I'll just keep it right there. And I'm gonna hit Command K to get to my musical typing. And here's what we have so far. And we hear that click at the beginning, so I'm gonna turn the attack right here up. Maybe right there, 6.16. And that's what we have so far. Next, I'm gonna open up the next oscillator, and you could use another sine wave, but I'm gonna use the triangle wave right here to uh, make, get a little bit more tone, and I'm gonna add 12 semitones here to get um, to get that second octave, and if, it, if I do a 50-50 split, here's what that sounds like. Um, and you could stop there, but what I like to do is I like to add the third octave and have it go, or sorry, the third oscillator and up another octave, so 24 semitones. And if we drag it in the middle, like the exact middle, something like that. I'll bring that to the triangle. That was at the sawtooth, which is too aggressive. So here's the uh, triangle wave. And that's what that sounds like. Um, and you could stop there. A couple things to notice is right now we have six voices. If for some reason you wanted more voices to be able to be played, you just turn this up. Um, but six is usually fine. Uh, and then the other thing is I might change the ratios. I might have the, the like fundamental tone have a little bit more percentage, so like 41. And then I might have the second octave have a little bit more percentage than the third octave, maybe like this, like 41 or 43, 28, let's say. 42, 30, 27, that sounds perfect. It might not make a huge difference there, but um, I just like it a little bit better like that. Um, and that's all we have to do for the ES2. The last thing I'm gonna do is just add some compression and some reverb, so. I'll add my compressor, compress a little bit more, uh, maybe a little bit less compression right there. I just turn the ratio up a little bit and the threshold down, and I'll turn the release up. Maybe like there. And then last, we'll do some space designer. And I might honestly just leave it as this stock um, 1.8 large and bright. And as for any of these things that I'm adding, you can adjust whatever you want. Um, honestly, just do what sounds good to you. Um, this sounds good to me. And yeah, I think that is all I need to do. Oh, you know, the last thing I might do is add some EQ and I might 
I might make it a bit brighter. So and I'm going to do that. I'm going to add that before the compressor, just so it's not clipping right here. And that's about it. Um, once again, here's what that final product's going to sound like. Let's see how accurate I was with the one that I made before and the one that I made during. Um, that's an octave below. Not too accurate. Let's see, what's the difference here? Oh, okay. The original one, I did not bring this up the third. The uh, I didn't have the third oscillator up an octave, which is totally fine. So let's see what that sounds like. That sounds too aggressive to me. So honestly, you can you can have it with that third oscillator up two octaves, or you don't need that. You can just turn that oscillator off, and and now that's what that's what this sounds like. So really, it is whatever you want it to be. But um, overall, you can kind of tell that it's not that difficult to get that um, kind of mellow organ sound that you hear in a lot of uh, EDM tunes that have the organ in it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that's about it. If you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my DJ and production videos and original music, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Hey, Let me help you.